So I start off with a very interesting quote you have in one of your lectures. And it's by the American AI researcher Elizer Yudkovsky. And uh, he says that AI does not hate you, nor does it love you, but you are made of atoms, which it can use for something else. Could you uh, uh, briefly explain why this quote is important to understand when we look at AI risks? Yes. Uh, I mean, the point of the Yudkovsky quote uh, is uh, to somewhat demystify AI risk, because uh, uh, many people, when they hear about catastrophic AI risk, they think that it means that somehow mysteriously the uh, AI would turn evil and would want to exterminate humanity or whatever uh, for that reason. And what Yudkowsky points out is that this is not at all necessary. Uh, all that's needed is that the AI has a goal, which is it, it's optimizing for. And this is a typical property that, that uh, uh, any sufficiently advanced AI is likely to have. Uh, a goal that uh, is uh, different uh, from uh, human values uh, and human goals. Uh, so it's not the goal of creating human welfare and human flourishing and, uh, and so on. If, if the AI has a different goal, then we will typically end up in a situation where the world is full of resources. We want this, these resources for creating human welfare and human flourishing, and the AI wants these resources uh, for uh, something else. And the prototypical, somewhat cartoonish example that Yudkovsky and others often come back to is if the AI has the goal of maximizing paperclip production. And in such a case, it will want to uh, use, um, if, if it attains, uh, as long as it's um, uh, a low capability AI, uh, it's not going to be dangerous. We, we can run a, a paperclip factory in this way and it's going to be okay. But when it becomes superhumanly uh, intelligent, uh, there's uh, a risk that it will just want to go on and on and, and produce more and more paperclips, turn all the matter uh, in the world into paperclips. And um, that would then include uh, the matter that constitutes you and me and all other humans. So that's the point of saying that you are made of atoms uh, that it can use for something else. 